Okay, so the first attempt was to try to do this script tag. We will alert cross-site scripting and we will close that tag out. We will try to submit it. We do not get an alert, so we know that field one is not vulnerable. Okay, so now that we have made this request, let's go over into Burp Suite and over into our HTTP history. You can organize it by various columns. Typically, you're gonna want to see the most recent one by just clicking here. Okay, so coming over into the submit, here we see that our script payload was entered into the first field as identified here as F0. What I want to do is put that payload into every single field and then see if there's any differences in the way that the web server reflects the payload into the response. So here you can see we actually have our payload being seen here on field one. Okay, it looks like this is actually HTML encoding as we can see right here on our inspector. So because this is being HTML encoded, it's basically escaping all of my angle brackets and various types of syntax that's needed for me to get the pop-up and the script tag to actually work.